I need to find the next comms station. Then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fight after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just there to show are. you what a nice Boy guy I am, offer. the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. Penguin's been there. hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so hard to find. Wait for laggers. Snipers. You wanna get cut, Batman? Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Are you serious? <laughs> well 
looking for Black Mask. Where is he? <laughs> I ain't here to talk. I'm here to kick your ass. This is your last chance. Black Mask must be out of his mind. Put up 50 million for your head. This might only do it. Who wants to show me where the penguin is? Or are you lousy bugs? Time to earn your supper! Crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in his office. Only way in is through the theater. On the other side of the casino. But you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. That worked better than the last interrogation. Penguin will know where I can find Black Mask. Electrocutioner won't have any reliable information. Question is, 
and Tracy stop him before he gets to the boss. I ain't that worried about it. Tracy? She knows what she's doing. She's tough, ain't she? Ooh, on everything but the eyes. That's him! That bad guy! Isolate the signal, I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. He's always forgetting stuff. Should I go bring it to him? You serious? We gotta move this cash before the bat gets here. Right, right. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking you should shut the hell up and pack the money. But... So much. He ain't gonna miss it if I just take a little Christmas bonus. You hear about the last guy who lifted a few bucks? Penguin told him he could work it off. At the bottom of the harbor. Hey, I was just asking. Less asking, more packing. <laughs> security room. I just told her I was working this city, and there weren't a damn thing she could do about it. Like that, huh? Yeah, like that. Ain't like she's making enough she can tell me what to do. Yeah, you're right. You can't let him get the upper hand. That's what my dad always said. Of course, Mom would slap him right after. <laughs> well, sure. Let's kill this son of a bitch! Where is he? See? I told you. Not to worry. Last guy's probably scared him off. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling better. Where the hell's my task got, damn it?
I'm really deep in it. Candy! <sighs> She's earned herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. I knew you didn't have what it takes to fight me fair! Oi! You can't do this! I'm claustrophobic, I am! What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone. But I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. I don't know what your game is, but old man Falcone will be in your debt if you take Cobblepot down. He's right through that door back there. No thanks. I don't need the Falcones in my debt. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> 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 Now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I wanna hear. 
Deathstroke was using should do the trick. Deathstroke could be useful here. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them, along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops will destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned.
The cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Advantage if I can't tap into the cops' communications. I should hack their mobile relay station. Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. This shut case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friends. I mean, we found the bastards and the little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him score him out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me? I take the loot over the glory any day. I got no beef with you. Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis, something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. The pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. The penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter.
fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Come in, 8-2. Dispatch, Delta 4-4. Four, four. Can you raise Delta 8-2? Stand by, 4-4. Four, four. Delta 8-2. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, report. Delta 4-4. Four, four. No response from 8-2. Please proceed inside to confirm 8-2's status. 10-4, dispatch. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. Master Bruce, you'll be happy to know I managed to have the gifts delivered to St. Jude's in spite of tonight's chaos. Thank you, Alfred. That's going to mean a lot to the kids. How did you pull it off? Well, the orphanage volunteered a truck and driver. They were apparently more concerned about upset children than they were about the flood of criminals in the streets. They chose wisely. I've done my best to keep the cave tidy, but with those bats circling above, 